<sighs> all right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing going here. get it going here with today's stream but also hopefully i'm hoping to have an actual discussion on chat um with chat today regarding some stuff about mr <sighs> mr well i mean i'd call him i've always called him zero but obviously there's a different name he likes to go by well his actual name now because his gamer name triggers him now but it's a sad thing in life when the underdog becomes the hated champion and then suffers from cancellation and not just of suffers cancellation of basically his livelihood his whole life like everything It's a sad, it's a sad thing entirely with that when that happens. Although I don't think I've seen one as drastic or as tragic as as Mr. Barrios there. Hey Majin, hey Majin, how you doing? How's it going there? I'm uh, actually uh, recanting slash uh, ranting slash talking about. Uh, as you can tell by the title, Mr. Uh, well, Mr. Gonzalo Barrios. Gonzalo Barrios, I mean. But, yeah, because uh, I don't know. If, uh, he had an interview with, uh, I guess, a guy, a YouTuber by the name of EE, e., someone in the sports, the Smash community, something like that. But, um, and it was just an interview about. I miss uh, my sleeping big. I just wake up. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, good morning to you. <laughs> Even though it's like noon in your area, but uh, good morning to you. But uh, no, uh, Zero or Gonzalo Barrios, he had an interview with uh, Mr. EE, -E, whoever, whoever you say is you, that YouTube guy's name. No, it's 10 a.m. Ah. Uh, daylight saving times and time zones and all that stuff. Blah. Open roll of cool buckers on these little skills. The burst will grab a bar over his face when they are dancing. He turns their shields in the way they curse. So sometimes we position it correctly. Maybe just please stay tuned for the other Huh. Alright. Let's Anyways. But yeah, so the dude had an interview on his well-being because the guy attempted to uh, end things for good, if you know, understand what I'm saying. Because I'm not sure if I can actually say the proper term on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or Afrika TV. Actually, I think I got an email from Afrika TV, but it was like all in Korean. So I had no idea what that email says. Anyways. But, uh, and so a guy did an interview on him to see his well-being. And cancel culture was like, nah, you can't do that. And so the dude ended up uh, taking down his interview. And so other uh, channels re-uploaded the interview there. It's ridiculous that the interview had to be taken down in the first place due to cancel culture, but whatever. But anyways, we got what we, what do we get? Something from Deluc? Mr. Darvis's superior year. Wow, Deluc has a long letter here. Am I gonna read this now? Because that's not what I'm uh, concerned about today. Also, I've been doing home stuff in this game and my home looks awesome. But anyways, that's not the important thing. But yeah, so, and then I watched another video of like guy just basically summarizing uh, Zero's story from, uh, you know, from beginning to the end of his uh, Smash career and then what stuff has happened afterwards uh, with the attempts that he made on his uh, own life there and what's been going on since then. 
And so, but yeah, so it's like got me what's good, bro. Hey, Chirag, it's been a while. I think it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Some scene around. How you doing? How have you been? But yeah, so this guy, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really, it's a sad tale. It's a sad story for real. Like this guy didn't, he grew up, uh, basically he made the, he's, he's, he's the type of person that's like, almost like a video game version of the American story or the American dream more or less. Right? Like he, he's an immigrant from another country, from a relatively poor country compared to the States works hard does good in what he's good at to make ends meet and support his family in his home country um like he comes really good at what he does becomes so good that he's hated for being so good at what he does uh and still does it makes stuff in like get sponsorships world guinness world book of records things like that uh retire who um it's in the title of uh the stream sure dog it's in the title of my stream uh, the guy I'm talking about, uh, Gonzalo Barrios, or Zero, as his gamer name is known for. He's a, he was a former uh, professional Smash Bros. player for the Smash Bros. game. But uh, basically, he was an underdog who became a hated champion, who then suffered from uh, cancel culture really bad like really bad and to the point where he can't even move on with his life he literally lost everything after cancer culture got him he uh even made an attempt on his own life and he still and he can't even um he pretty much can't even move on with his life really in other areas because cancer culture is literally just that strong it's like that's like that's the I guess the most toxic part of cancel culture. It's part of, also a large part of why I just stay stay off of Twitter in general. Anyways, I technically have a Twitter. I don't use it, um, and I stay stayed away from the Smash community anyways, because Smash community's been toxic for years. That's nothing new. But yeah, this is my home so far. This is the stuff I've been doing uh, off stream for the home, making like a little little village there. But, um, but anyways, but yeah, like it's the sad, it's sad that he did all that, uh, and for years, you know, was doing his thing, doing the best he could. What do you have for dinner today? I think I had like some type of soup, some type of soup. But my question is this, like what? is something that is I guess unforgivable to the point where you cannot move on with your life at all like what is something that y'all consider to be unforgivable or better yet what is something that is literally worth having the rest of your life or not worth but what is something that would warrant having the rest of your life with nothing in it, with not much in it to really go for. Wanna come over for tea? Knowledge? What do you mean, Chirag? What do you mean? Knowledge is, because I did, I ended up asking two questions there. So uh, explain that to me, Chirag. What do you mean uh, by knowledge, when you say knowledge? nice little village in this area here it would be nice though if I could like get wood from these trees in here like that would be cool too but I think that would go against the way they have this system built for this game it's really hard Q yeah that 
it is because mainly at least my take on it i mean obviously as you can see from above and below and every time i end this stream i am a christian so my view on it is that like all of us have dark sins in our lives all of us have dark sins or dark things that poor choices we've made or mistakes we've made in our lives that really don't make us any better than the person next to us on the street and so my view on that is like like is there anything we can do in life that really warrants us as humans to not be able to do anything else in life at all just to basically just sit and rock forever and never be able to move on or have do something else in life or anything like that talking about zero well yes pro because that is the title of my uh stream there you know how it says i don't well you're on twitch so i guess it would be here <laughs> where it says that knowledge is unforgettable in life well, I mean, people do forget stuff, Chirag. People do forget stuff, but not in, well, not if it's online. People don't forget stuff if it's online. That's the lovely curse of cancel culture. Like pro, uh, cause you're obviously well more tuned into this MASH community than uh, people who I guess uh, are not, like as me as much. So, pro, did you see, uh, did you happen to watch or see or even care to watch the interview that Zero had with uh, with EE e., whoever that guy is how you pronounce his name I don't know how you pronounce his name but did you see that interview yes yeah, so I got this in the house now too I, I actually don't have much in this mansion but uh okay so you saw that so pro what what do you, what did you think about the interview or what were what were your thoughts on it like with how everything else that happened in his life or what he's trying to get done now or the fact that ee e. had to take down the video because in my opinion because cancel culture like was like nah you can't do this and so i had like i literally had to watch the video from someone else's youtube channel because it wasn't on his anymore actually i don't know him oh that's fine sure I, I don't think and uh you have to be like a smash person to really know uh who zero was Yo, long time, what? Satoshi, Satoshi Kurosaki BTW? Oh, then yeah, it definitely has been a long time because I am bad with names. So <laughs> he wasn't clear on if he would upload anymore. Yeah, that's true. He wasn't clear on that. I'm about to chase this cat all around this house. Watch. All right, kitty. All right, kitty, let's go. But yeah, he wasn't clear on that, but also, I saw it in my recommendation within two minutes of uploading. We'll definitely catch this interview. Um, actually, Chirog, if you have not been introduced, <laughs> if you don't know who Zero is before uh, me talking about him right now, um, the interview I'm talking about would not be like the best introduction for this guy. Um, <laughs> I would say uh, there's a, a better way to be introduced to know the story. But... Uh, but yeah, like I saw the video in my rec recommendations too, like shortly after it uploaded, but I never had time to watch it. So I just kind of had it saved um, for a few days so I could watch it later. And by the time I got time to watch it, it was gone because cancel culture was like, nah. I think it was on the stream with Dogecoin. Ah, okay. Yes, the Dogecoin stream. Yeah, it's been a while. So. So wait, what do I call you now, S Satoji? Satoji. But anyways, so Chirok, since you're there, basically to I guess kind of let you know about who Zero was or is currently. So Zero's he was a kid from Chile, right? He grew up in basically a very dysfunctional family, uh, dysfunctional household. Um, bullied a lot as a kid, mainly for his weight and other things like that. Tried to commit suicide at 10 years old. Um, he started playing Smash Bros. Melee. I need to get up out of here now. He started playing Smash Bros. Melee. Um, started doing that a lot. Got really good at it. Uh, started going to the... Started... Moved up to the States uh, to play it more. Um, had to, like, 
win tournaments to make money to make rent and also send money to support his family in Chile, right? Uh, he did that for a while. He became really good at the Smash Bros. What's good, Doc? Hey, Churz. Hey, Churz, what's good? How you doing there? And so, uh, and so, yeah, so he came really good at, he became really good at Smash Bros there. Uh, he got especially good at, um, at Smash 4. Um, he had, like, an undefeated streak of, like, what, 53 wins undefeated for tournaments. Um, yeah, except, you know, when to get that far, like, people started hating him because he won so much. And so, um... But yeah, and then one day, in July 2020, uh, when the Smash community went through a big purge and uh, Zero got caught up in that, um, his stuff was relatively, considerably not nearly as bad as some a lot of the other accusations that were going on and that were proven to be true, or at least no one defused them. But um, but after that, he literally lost everything that we had going for him in his life. Like, not just Smash. He lost, like, his motocross stuff. He uh, got injuries. Uh, he lost his girl. Um, at least as far as I know, that's what their situation is right now. They're not together. They keep in touch, but they're not together. Um, and he even eventually committed suicide. Or not, sorry, well, attempted to. Well, pretty sure I just said that word on stream now so I don't know how that's gonna break terms of service or something like that but that's like that's the legit reality of what happened there he attempted to um so yeah Churz not Churz sorry Chirag from the Facebook side that's like a quick like two minute synopsis of the years and years and years of that person's life what is this Okay. All right, so let's get some of these. Uh, now that I've done moving to states, it's hard, man. That it is. That it is. And he's told some stories about how, like, uh, how at border, like, at crossing the border for uh, customs, like how he was like singled out um, by some pretty racist border cops, um, and like. He had to like he had to literally have them look him up on Google because at the time he was really getting he was getting more known in Smash and for tournaments, and they were thinking that he was trying to smuggle drugs or something like that. And so he had to get them to prove to look it up, look him up to prove that he was actually like someone. As we started to like Zero's Prodigy series where he recognized kids really did well. Yeah, and I liked that too, Pro. I thought that was pretty cool. Especially since he was like trying to do that himself as a kid, like the fact that he's looking at younger kids to um, to help them get more recognition in the Smash series and things like that. I thought that was pretty cool. What's up with these quests? Oh wait, I have to start the hangouts separately. That's right. All right, so who are we doing? Are we doing Diona or are we doing Noel? Which, which one are we going for? Diana or Noelle? I would like to move to Canada. I have some friends in Canada. Haven't been myself, but I have some friends in Canada. So in 2018, the allegations came to light. Uh, 2020. If you're talking about, if you're talking about zero, it'd be 2020. Um, some stuff came out about what he, something he did when he was 19. Church, it's not that hard. Not that hard to move to Canada, you mean? Here, we'll go with Noel. We'll go with Noel. And the thing is, I'm actually like a, okay, a, a, about a year older than Zero. Like I was born uh, around his birth date and like a year beforehand. So I'm like, so, and he's like, stuff that he did at 19, and I'm like, okay, at 19, like, yeah, I could see that. Like, I could see, like, at 19, none of us are the same person we are at, like, you know, what, 24, 20, 25? Like, there's a lot of stuff that happens between 19 and 25 when it comes to life. And allegations, 
uh, happened when he was 19 and he is 26 now, so seven years before. Yeah, like there's it was seven seven years ago something that he had uh, the allegations for what he had did there, which for the rest of the world for cancel culture means that it happened on July of 2020, not you know stuff from seven years prior. But uh, you said moving to states is not hard. Actually, Chers, depending on what country you're from, moving to the states can be very hard. Um, it's hard, depending on what country you're from, it's hard to get a visa approved for going to the states. That smells strange for me. Well, what happened, uh, Majin, was that on July of 2020, um, there was a Smash Bro, a Smash player who. Um, basically, he came out about uh, some inappropriate relationship type of stuff that happened to him as a young when he was younger in the Smash community. From some, he was 14 and the per and the lady was 24, and he came out and just said, "I can't, you know, I can't keep this in anymore. This is what happened. Yada yada yada." And he let it all out there, like he let it all out there for what had been going on. What this person had been doing to him in the, within the Smash community while he was a kid, 14 at the time, and uh, the day after that, One everyone and their mom was posting and letting stuff out about you know this is happening, that's happening, yada yada yada, this that and the other um, of all these if, like all these higher up like Smash famous smash celebrities smash famous people like a lot of people like a uh, one person um one person even had to nairo's back yeah uh, that's actually what i was about to bring up pro one person uh had to like he made a confession uh and then later a few months later retracted that confession and came out with a legal statement saying that he's actually innocent and that this is what happened this is what really happened yada 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 um, so yeah, that's what happened in, uh, July of 2020. Um, and of course, Nintendo is like, yeah, nah, we ain't touching y'all with a 10 foot pole anymore. Like, nah, like Nintendo, this, the sad part of the sad thing was Nintendo had just started to, uh, Nintendo had really just started to try and be more supportive of the smash competitive scene. And then this happened <laughs> and yeah, they're, they're never going to do that again. But uh, if you're good in academics, you can move states easily. Um, Chers, like I said, that's not the case with every country. Some there are some countries where it does not depend how smart you are. It can it will still be difficult. I personally know some people in other countries who have a difficult time of getting to the states because simply because of the country they're from. Uh, when it comes to who the states allows in, um, certain countries have it harder than others. But being good in academics does help in many other countries get to help you get a student visa Like if you got good academics and you're in the right country. Oh, yeah, well, they'll take you. They'll take you But but yeah Majin so what happened a lot of people were actually doing some really predatorial stuff predatorial uh, Sensual stuff that should not have been going on um and you know those people those allegations that were made those things were done a lot of people just completely left the scene entirely a lot of people were shooken up a lot of people were surprised i didn't know how it happened but i still feel there's something hidden in general oh oh yeah oh yeah there definitely um is for for that there's definitely some genuine stuff going on about people just letting folks know that this is what's going on and we need to just out this but there's also, I feel there's also some, obviously some people who are like, this is my opportunity, this is my chance. But, uh, cause there have been people who lie about being raped. Like that's, well, that's another word you probably can't say on stream, but there are people who legit lie about that type of stuff, which ruins it for the people who genuinely have been. But there are people who lie and go to media and court and all that stuff and straight up lie about things like that. So 
there are but zero stuff wasn't nearly as bad as everyone else it was some creepy stuff he did back at when he was 19 uh with a 14 year old girl and um yeah and so it led to him losing like and he was doing better in life by the time this all happened like he was doing really good in life he has moved on from a bit from smash he was doing some content creation stuff doing motocross um doing stuff with his uh girlfriend fiance wife whoever she was at the time all that's gone now for him all that's gone he had injuries after that as well for motocross he can't even do motocross anymore he can't get a job anymore or for just for other skills that he has because when he would get interviews and they'd say he's good for it you know jobs do background checks and they just google his name and this stuff comes up and so he's been turned down jobs after like the day after they're like yeah we want to hire you let's do yada 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 like it's it's that bad and Nairo created some cool tricks with Sifroth all by himself yeah I've really enjoyed watching uh Nairo's Sifroth I have enjoyed watching that are you interested in space I do like space chairs I do I like uh I like to the great beyond and knowing what's out there in space I do like that type of stuff from his view, he's number one in the game and was about to make a big deal with the other company when this came up. So unfortunately, we don't know what happened. Uh, are you going to sleep? Good night, pro. Uh, from his view, number one in the game, about to make a big deal with the other company when this came up. So we don't, unfortunately, we don't know what happened. Wait, don't know what happened with what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that one, Maj, and what you mean by that one last there. So much to learn before the exam. How will I ever get through everything? Oh, honorary night. Long time no see. Anything you need me to take care of? But my main thing was is that I was watching his interview on someone else's YouTube channel. Then I watched another uh, video someone made of like a synopsis of uh, Zero's career to the end. And I was like, my thing is that cancel culture only works because everyone hides their sins. Like that's my thought process behind it. Is that it only works because everyone hides their sins. Because everyone in my mind has darker sins that would look horrific to a lot of people if they'd all got out in public. I do, the person down the street does, the sweet old lady at the gift shop, the can't the flower shop does, anyone in my chat does. Like that's my view on it. And so if all of our sins, if all of our poor choices, bad decisions and mistakes were shown out in public for everyone in the world to see, I think everyone would be canceled by today's cancel culture standards. Everyone would also be humbled and be more empathetic to people trying to move on with their life and do other things. What do you think that will happen after 10 years? Will we make it to Mars? Will we find any Earth-like planet? Not in 10 years, Churz. Not in 10 years. Now, nah. back in 1970, they were saying we'd all have floating cars or flying cars by 20, by the year 2000, I mean. They were saying that back in the 70s. I don't know about you, but I ain't driving around in a floating car, in a flying car. So, no, in 10 years, I do not think we will have someone on Mars. Uh, I do not think that we will... We've already found or seen, I should say, other Earth-like planets through the telescopes that we have. But will we get to those planets in 10 years' time? I do not think so. I don't think we technology moves at that fast of a rate, especially the money involved for that. Well, I have some thought. Can't say here, but after seven years, and at that time, I can say there's another factor behind it. We don't know. Yeah, okay, that part, Majin, yes. Because a lot of these things... A lot of these accusations that came out, um, they just came out in public. Uh, they didn't go specifically to like the person first to try and resolve these things privately first and then go public if they didn't resolve it privately. So in that sense, I'm like, yeah, like back when the person made their first accusation against uh, Zero, against uh, Gonzalez, I was like, okay, so... It's like, okay, so if you had this issue with someone, because 
again, for because you know, I'm a Christian, if you can't tell. So for me, the Bible says if you have a problem with someone, go to them and deal with it with them first. And if they and if you can't get things resolved between you and that person, then you go to someone else. Um, so that's that's my thought with it. A lot from some of those things for some people, it was they just it seemed like they went public first before going to the person themselves. I'm not saying one way or the other whether you know I'm not saying where they're it was completely right or wrong to do it that way. Um, I have more of a private person myself, so I would prefer to take things out on in private rather than going out in public with it because that that just completely ruins people's lives thanks to this cancel culture that we have in today's world. Uh, hey, thanks for the lecture, Rog. But, uh, but yeah, I would have tried to go in public. I mean, sorry, I would try to go in private. Yeah, I know that memes. Yeah. Let me see if I don't defend him at all. What he did is wrong. I don't know about it before anyway. Well, right. And like, and like no one says like what he did was not wrong. Like everyone in their mom agrees it was wrong. But at the same time, at 26, 25, he's not that 19 year old kid, right? Like uh, it happened. It was wrong. And we've all done stuff that were wrong, but we're all not all being judged based on stuff we did in the past that was wrong. Like anyone here talking to me in chat right now is not looking at me like, oh, I remember when you did this back in 2015 and you did this back in 2011, you did this back in 2012 and you're a horrible person. I'm going to go and I, I don't, I don't know, sp spread the truth, the facts that cancel you. I don't know. But that, cause that's not how people operate. Uh, what's his full name? Chirag. It's actually in my, well, I don't know his. You can you can look it up. It's like you could just Google it. It'll show up on Wikipedia for you. <laughs> um, I have his name in the title of my stream. Um, Gonzalo Zero Barrios, although Zero is his gamer name or was his gamer name or stage name, I should say. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. But yeah, like it's like yeah, we all agree like what he did wasn't right at all it was wrong it was a very bad choice very bad thing to do not nearly as bad as uh some of the other stuff but it was still bad nonetheless but it's not worth it's not something so bad that he can't get jobs doing other stuff and move on with his life from yeah, that's that's the thing that i don't like about cancel culture that's what i don't like about it at all But yeah, Majin got uh, the name there for you. Oh, that's right. Facebook doesn't get the other comments. Okay. Uh, uh, Gonzalo uh, Raul Barrios Castro. That's his uh, full name there. Several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. Study buddy. No, I. That won't be necessary. Taking it to fulfill my All right, so dream. Noelle's trying to do her nightly exam, right? Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. But you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But on the day of the exam, if if you happen to be free, um, based on the night schedule, I think it should be half a year from now. Half a year from now. But it's just half a year. Don't you think that's quite soon? You're stressing out over an exam that's half... Actually, okay, I've stressed out over final projects that were due, like, months away, so I, I can't really knock you for that. Just finish sleep two hours less each day? There's always coffee if I feel sleepy, and I have some candy on hand just in case I ever feel low on energy. This girl, she tries to do, like, everything. Uh, will that, what I call the action in the middle of a hate reaction, makes the stuff look bigger and makes worse results? Yeah, like it was, it was part of the fl it's that and, okay, it was that along with the fact that like while other people were being outed, while other people were getting accusations, he spoke out and said people who do those types of things, the predatorial stuff they were doing, those were horrible. Uh, those type of people are horrible. They shouldn't be in the Smash community. Things like that. 
And so then the one girl came out about him and he started denying stuff at first, trying to show screenshots and proofs of things like that, saying, I, you know, I wasn't doing this type of stuff. And then he find uh, someone made another post and then he finally came out and said, okay, I did this, this, and this, and this. Um, and you know, and he said, and then he, he, ba he basically t removed himself <laughs> from the scene. Um, he admitted to stuff that he did and removed himself from the scene and it just all and they like dead silence for, for months you live in Chicago um Welchers I live somewhere in the states it is not wise to say online where I live that's that's just not online safety the states is about as, as good as as good as it should get for you Although I, although I think some some viewers kind of know where I live, or at least even the city where I live in. But as a general rule, I try not to give out personal details like that to online, because these videos, it's on the internet, it's on the internet forever. No, it won't. I've made sure to allocate time for training too. After all, combat is also assessed as part of the examination. Oh. Whew. Did I get too worked up all of a sudden? My vision seems a bit blurry. No. I still have training tomorrow. I must freshen up. This girl is doing way too much. I apologize. Yeah, you know, from a streamer don't want to show show my house or prank me. <laughs> I'm okay. There is there is that. There is that. There's also this thing I uh, uh just just general internet safety not telling folks where you live. There's that too. Safety reasons. Yeah, down, safety reasons. Yeah, safety reasons. so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But I watched some YouTube first streamer who get pranked hard. <laughs> that sounds fun. Sounds that sounds funny to watch. That sounds funny to watch. I like to watch the video, the the mail thief uh, box thing, the box that like sends confetti everywhere and does fart spray and all that stuff when people steal mail and open it places in it like records them and all that like I like those I like those all right don't hide from it confront the stress of the exam directly change of scenery might do you good do change the scenery. you mean a change of location one of them, someone called the police yes. on him as a Stay drug owner. It was a miss. <laughs> oh, wow. We moved to States back in 2017. Nice, Shurs. Nice. I hope you've been having a good time in a good state and have avoided all the lovely drama of the States. <laughs> Hopefully you've had a really good time and experience. And make a picnic out of it. Would that just waste too much time? A trip? To oh, we're taking her to Leeway now? Hold up. Last time around, we like took her to a under a tree and took a nap. Now we taking her to Leeway? What's going on here? I'm gonna take Leeway back to finish several of my books. Better travel 10,000 miles than to read 10,000 books. Hmm. You really think I shouldn't limit myself to Mondstadt? Oh, we're gonna show her a whole new world. We're gonna pull an Aladdin on her, aren't we? But my vision is a Geo one. Maybe visiting the nation built by the Geo Archon could help me learn something new. Hmm. Very well then. If it's just a quick visit. <laughs> All right, so we need to head to Liyue. Somewhere in Liyue, we need to head there. Oh, we're heading over here. All right, cool. My experience in the States was pretty good. I don't know why a lot of people have bad experience. That's because it's because it's so many people, you get such a variety of experiences depending on where you're from. Like since the States is such a huge nation with a whole bunch of people in it and different cultures within <laughs> within different states like people can have a variety of experiences i think for most of my experiences living here has been good 
it. But uh, but you know, I can't believe I'm from here. We devastated to get the game when it was on the PS Store for play at home. I did not. You have mentioned those games like five times. And I still have not gotten them. And you've mentioned them like five or seven times. Wow, I am so I am so bad at this. Wow. <laughs> you moved from Scotland to America? Well, it's gone now. Yeah, yeah. That's my bad. I missed What were the, what were the games that were on the play the play for uh, home thing anyways? What were those games? I think you only have Horizon now. Well, what were the games that were available? Um, and I moved from Scotland to America. Now, Scotland, I know some I have a friend of mine who's currently in Scotland. Actually, I know some, I know a few folks in Scotland. I know a school in Scotland. Um I've never been myself, but I know some folks who have been. Small world, Chers. Small world. Wow. The architecture here is so unique. So we just took this girl to live with. Because you're a maiden knight from like heh. <laughs> well, you do look especially good today. Ha! Oh, we could go for the flirt. We could go for the flirt. We took this girl. To Leeway, a place she's never been, showed her a whole new world like we're Aladdin. Now we gonna say she looks especially good today. Oh yeah, we gonna go for the flirt, or we're gonna say cause she's a knight of Favonius and we're in Leeway. Like that's kind of a rare sight. Like this is the more, this is like the more likely answer. Like she straight up is dressed like a knight of Favonius, so this is more likely answer. The Millilith are probably like watching her from a distance. But I mean, this answer is just like we just gotta go for it. You're you Scottish American. <laughs> People may hear you and get the wrong idea. Huh. How strange. Back in Mondstadt, I never feel shy around strangers. Subnautica, enter the dungeon, the witness, and Abzu. Oh, okay. So all like types of games I've either never heard of. <laughs> so, well, except for enter the dungeon. I've heard of that. But that's not my type of game anyway. So, yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right. I've previously provided chopsticks to visitors from Leoeth, but I've never used them myself. Oh, I hope I won't become a laughing stock. Oh, she's never used chopsticks. So not only are we gonna take her to a place she's never been, we're now going to teach her to do something new, dude. This is this is how you make your moves on your girl. This is how you make your moves. This is how you like get the girl for life. Anyways. I can teach you how to use chopsticks. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Oh, I, I was just thinking aloud. Adjusting to that American was accent was pretty difficult. My time ah, forget was adjusting was to American accent. There are so many study. different accents in America, depending on where you're from in America. Like, forget it. Talk the way you want to talk. Be you. Talk with your, talk with your Scottish accent. Be you. Actually, you know what's funny? I have an Hispanic friend from Mexico who lived in the States for a while and then has moved to Scotland. So she started talking like Scottish accent Spanish. It's hilarious. It's, it sounds really cool, but it's hilarious because she's like, you know, she's, she's Mexican. <laughs> but talking Scottish, like Spanish and Scottish English, like it's great. I applied it in 100% all the other trophies. Oh yeah, enter the gungeon. Yeah, you have told me about that, Machin. You have told me about that. Well, let's see, my time in the way is precious. I would make, I should make good use of it to study. You never know, the exam may test your ability to work with partners from the way. I understand local culture will help you connect with the people and learn more. Hmm. Hmm, true. If I offended the locals by not knowing their customs, I wouldn't have the chance to learn from them. Not the only roguelike games I like so far. Okay. okay. Let's start by learning about the local cuisine. Do you have any suggestions? I feel like these two answers are the same. I feel like these two answers are exactly the same. You can trust me with this. Let's go to one main restaurant. Okay. If it comes recommended by you, I'm excited to find 
out what kind of food it is. Remember my first English class? Alright. We got one mean. Let's go. If it isn't the traveler, what would you like to order today? One min restaurant will cook it just how you like it. Oh, is this a new customer you brought with you? Based on Madame's attire, it would appear that even a knight of Favonius will travel all the way to Lyua just to try one min restaurant's cooking. Knight of Favonius? Oh, I I'm not. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. You must be in Lyua on official business. But anyway, while you're here in Lyua, I can come. You know, the funny thing is, regret stopping by one min restaurant to try our tasty dishes. English that, classes. That's not what I meant. Not what you just meant? add to me. Oh, I see. I suppose you must be looking for Liu Li Pavilion, Senor Kiyomasu. Uh, most first-time visitors have only heard of these two places. I just didn't expect the Knights of Favonius to be the same way. But uh, what I meant was, I am not an official Knight of Favonius. I'm just a knight in training, currently serving as a maid. Good. So Pokemon Snap really is up. Uh, what do you think? To that I never got into the Pokemon well, anyway, Snap series, as long as you dine at so I've, I haven't even seen any gameplay sure for it. I've never had the Since urge to play it. Liyue, perhaps you're not used to chopsticks. I did, so, however, I recommend the grill uh, get Monster Hunter fresh, Rise and easy recently to if surprise a uh, friend of mine who I'm hanging out with this weekend. Palette. Want to try it? Uh, Cause I don't really care for Monster Hunter games. I tried one like forever ago on the DS, and I was like, eh. But a friend of mine who I'm hanging out with likes Monster Hunter. They have Monster Hunter Rise, so I secretly got Monster Hunter Rise. Been playing a little bit, trying to get used to it, so that way when we hang out, we can play Monster Hunter Rise together as like a surprise. So, but uh, but yeah, but no, I haven't played Snap at all. I haven't played any of the Pokemon Snap games ever. Dude, I'm better playing anything than taking pics. Adjusting the dish to accommodate what I'm used to seems like yeah, that's like at least to me like that's that's the thing. All you're doing is taking pictures, right? So I'm like, well, in that case, you've got to try our signature dish. Okay. Like, like most modern AAA games have some sort of some sort of some sort of photo mode, anyways. So I'm like. Monster Hunter Rise, I hate Capcom for it. Oh really? Why is that? What's up? What's the what's the beef? What's the details? Phew. I can already feel the spiciness just by listening to your description. Will I be able to handle it? Alright, so now the question is, can Noel handle spicy food? If we tell her you can do it, she'll probably do it. But if we say don't force it if you're not going to enjoy it. Hmm. What would I let's see. I would I would say try it. What? I say try it. I can't give up so soon. Because it's it continues. It oh, it's the continuation of Monster Hunter World and they made it switch Should only. Go? Oh, so Monster Hunter Rise Great. is a continuation of Monster Hunter World. Right Wait, did you not like Monster Hunter World? Wasn't that like the big like open world version or something like that? Oh, so spicy. I can't even hold my chopstick steadily. Oh, I'm I'm fine. It's certainly very spicy, but once you get over that, oh, it's quite delicious. Wait, you loved it? Wait, so you like Monster Hunter World? But not Rise. So is it only because Rise is only on the Switch that you, that you don't like it? To see Rise to be a downgrade from the world had me so bad. Okay, because wasn't Monster Hunter World like open world? Wasn't that like the thing with Monster Hunter World? Like it was an open world Monster Hunter game? And like, since it was on like, you know, the PS4 and Xbox, like it was like, had better graphics and whatnot. Wasn't that it? Also, I thought Monster Hunter World like literally just came out like maybe last year. Like, like I didn't think it's been 
long enough for monsters for another Monster Hunter game to come out. Yeah, that's my point. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. But didn't Monster Hunter World like just come out like a year ago? Like, I don't remember. I mean, I don't play Monster Hunter, so I don't remember. But <laughs> I thought Monster Hunter World just came out, and then Rise just came out a few months ago. That's kind of, that's pretty quick to me. Next time I entertain guests from Leo and if I'll be able to process delicious food for them. Your cooking is delicious too. Really? Then let me bake some muffins for you when we get back. Look at that. We are smoothing this girl over. How do you feel? Man, this traveler has got her like you got her a hook, line, and sinker. Thank you, Chef Mel. Monster Hunter Wise released 2018. So, okay, so three years at this point. Really? Monster Hunter World was 2018. Huh. <laughs> we weren't supposed to drink the soup and she drank it all. <laughs> this girl. This girl. Yes. Oh, great. It's almost like you're the host and I'm your guest. As a maid, I can't help but feel a little guilty. You can say it a new game in the game. A Monster Hunter World Iceborne release 2019 was a big update. Okay. Huh. That's funny, because Horizon Zero Dawn, right? Their big DLC was the uh, ice area. Then Genshin Impact had a big update. The new, the biggest, the next region was the ice area, Dragon Spine. Monster Hunter Rise, Monster Hunter World, sorry, had the Frostborn. I think even Final Fantasy XIV had some type of ice expansion pack update, whatever, something like that. built by the Geo Archon after all. I wonder how Favonius blade work could be applied to these weapons and what kind of modifications would be needed. Yes, and even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always do, I don't feel as nervous as I did when I was in Mondstadt. Hey, so when Rise come up, I was happy. The world will continue with more stuff that I learned to switch only and then I start fearing what's going to happen. Who you call little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. Well, I see. I mean, for me, it's Monster Hunter. All I'm, all I know to do is collect stuff and take down everything that moves. That's literally all I know to do. I, I pick up everything I see. I cut down everything that moves. Apparently, there's like oh, you're supposed to trap some stuff. The game said if you trap stuff, you get you get more materials that you don't get from slaying. I haven't learned how to trap stuff yet. I only literally did like I think like the first mission. I don't even know how to ride wyverns yet. I haven't even done that yet. That's how like fresh into the game I am in. All I know is I like the sword and shield combo that turns into an axe, which apparently is one of the more complex weapons to use in the game. And I like the slashy slash dual wielding, the slashy slash dual blades. But I much prefer like the sword and shield that becomes an axe. Like you're like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then like, shoosh. But yeah, other than that, uh, I like I haven't even tried all the weapons. Like the bagpipe, haven't tried it. The insect glaive thing, I don't know what that is, what that does, I have no clue. Uh, you start off with the big old sword where you do like, uh, and then you go, and uh, yeah, haven't tried the crossbow, the bow, the, the bagpipe. Like, I, I don't know. I just know I like... And the only reason I know I like that weapon is because the Monster Hunter 
was it three whatever monster hunter was on the 3ds i tried that monster hunter for a little bit and that also had the sword that transforms into an axe and i was like this is cool i don't like anything else in this game but this is cool so yeah so then run uh then when it comes and i see it was a super downgrade for me yeah, graphic-wise, yeah, I can see that being a downgrade if it's being Switch only, but, yeah. Is he planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades when the man's not looking, huh? Well, I'm warning you, quit while you're ahead. Stop before you do something you'll regret, because if you get caught, uh, that man's going to yell at you. I was ready. She wouldn't need to. Oh, whoops. No, I dropped a heart. No. She's no small fry after all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't care. I dropped a heart. I didn't mean to drop a heart. Unless you show me your great sword and also your vision. That's not true. No great sword can outshine the mighty Dooku longsword. And one day I'm going to get my I can't play it. And then I get super angry when I learn that happened because Capcom is stupid. <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. Um, all right then, if you insist. Um, please be careful with them. Don't hurt yourself. You, you're really gonna let me have a look? Wow, you're so nice. Wow, that glow, it really is a Geo Vision. And this sword is so... Heavy. Bet they had to ask Nintendo before they work on the game. Uh, it's not fair. They made the game and realized it on the PlayStation Xbox, then asked Nintendo if you won the game as well, it will be on all the consoles. Sure Nintendo said day. yes, the game's on that Switch. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Nintendo has... I could see Nintendo having that kind of pull, because it is Nintendo. And the Switch has sold, like... Huh? Like hotcakes, man. I must accept that the knights of Avonius of Mondstadt live up to their name. But so I, I could see, defeat. I could see I Nintendo uh, saying, being like, I'm yeah, sure, we'll let you be it on the one console but that I, also doubles as a handheld. Like, yeah. I do hope there are no further misunderstandings today. Children and Leela have these dreams too. I never would have thought. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of visions we would have when we grew up. I hope that someday this boy's dreams will come true too. <sighs> anyway, what's next? Should we visit Leola's harbor or take a short break? Hmm, the harbor. We managed to get the little less of the third round knockout, then keep exploring. Let's do the millilith. Yes, there does seem to be a large number of millilith stationed at the harbor. It would be great if I can learn something from them. All right, so let's see what we can. All right, there you go. All right, so let's see what we can find. Huh? Just water there, huh? <laughs> Make Hu Tao glow. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Monster Hunter World sold wow. sixteen point four million you units worldwide. Oh wow. That's a lot. At least as far as I know, that's a lot for video game stuff. Yes. Word is that a knight of Pavonius has appeared in Liyue. That's why I came to have a look. I never expected that one of you would be the honored guest at the Chi Sing, mm -hmm. and the other one. Monster be Hunter be Rise sold bonus. six million copies worldwide. Oh. <laughs> so Monster Hunter Rise has not done as well so far as uh, as Monster Hunter World. That uh, Switch exclusivity uh, didn't seem to work out, which. I can kind of see that making sense. I mean, it's like, 
one, the graphics, right, that you can put on a PS4 and Xbox, they exceed the Switch. Um, two, PS4 and Xbox, there's more of those out there combined than there is of the Switch. Three, the type of uh, customers that you have. Like Monster Hunter, at least from what I'm seeing, that's a game you really got to sit down and put some time into, right? Like if you're... Uh, if you're on a quest or whatever, like I couldn't save my game once I had accepted a quest. I had to like cancel the quest and do that. And you can't pause the game when you're on a quest. Like when you're doing a hunt, you can't pause it. I pressed the start button, nothing happened. It just, the menu came up and I still moved around and did stuff. So it's a game you really gotta put your time into. Whereas the Switch, most games on it are made to be able to play on the go for quick five minute, 10 minute bursts as well as the occasional sit down and chill time. Well, most clientele for the Switch are like on the play and go, what you call it, which you know, you're not doing, you're not doing, you're not doing like 30 minute hunts while you're sitting at a coffee shop, <laughs> like waiting on your coffee, like nah. You wanna know the funny staff? I see. Sure, what's the funny? What's the dealio? Please what's the new stuff? Me for the misunderstanding. Allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Shai Monster Hunter World. Uh, Iceborne has reached 7.2 million copies sold. The DLC sold more than Monster Hunter Rise and it was worth $60. Wow. The D $60 DLC and it sold more than Rise. How wait, when did Rise come out? How long has Rise been out? Understood. Allow me to apologize on behalf of all the residents of this area for the misunderstanding earlier. Oh, it's no big deal. More importantly, is there a reason why you were looking for a Knight of Pavonius? May I be of any assistance? Well, let me fill you in. I just received some intel that a group of troops originally from Mondstadt has shown up in this area. Oh, so Monster Hunter Rise just came out last month. Oh, well, they got time. They got time to get those other 10 million over a month. Yeah. So they got time to get over that to get the other 10 million. Pavonius could join me in the arrest so we could act as each other's witnesses. But it seems like this is easier said than done. I'm sorry. If only I could have passed this selection exam earlier. Uh, if I submitted an official request Most sale happened in the first two Knights of Favonius, all true. I would achieve is That's to true. buy the treasure hoarders time to plan their escape. Might I ask if there are any That's other Knights of Favonius That's a very accurate statement there. Leo Harbor at present? Hmm. Any other Knights in Liyue? Oh, of course. If it's a Knight you need, well, there's one right here. An honored guest of the Chi Sing and an honorary knight, too? Well, if someone who's independently a hero in two different nations is willing to lend me a hand, I can't exactly do better so than that. So I think the number will not increase much. It's just that. Yeah, that's fair enough. I that's fair enough. I'm ashamed calling on a hero who defeats ancient gods to assist with something so trivial. Wait. So, as well as Storm Terror, you defeated an ancient god, too? Yeah, girl. I mean, you know, it's what it's what we do. I mean, you know, girl. It ain't it ain't it ain't much. It ain't much. This is what we do. <laughs> Dude, traveler is like like getting this girl's heart. The details of the arrest with them. Whenever the two of you are ready, please come and find me there. Let's run. No, it is their loss. It is their loss margin. They should not have signed an exclusivity deal. Although, is it a timed exclusive? There's that as well. Um, cause like Final Fantasy 7 Remake is a timed exclusive, right? Uh, Kingdom Hearts, well they were exclusives, now they're not. But um, or they want to make a PC version now? Right, yeah, cause, cause they need to make up those sales. So yeah, if it was a timed exclusive, then they have enough, they definitely have another shot at, you know, uh, getting that additional 10 million. Head near Stone Gate. Oh, okay, we're going that way. So yeah, like if they make a PC version, um, if they get some cross-play in there, 
you know. And yeah, so if they can if they can get out of the exclusivity contract, uh, or if it's a timed exclusive, then yeah, they got a shot. They got a shot. So yeah, so was Monster Hunter World, like what made Monster Hunter World different from previous Monster Hunter games? Like, am I wrong in thinking that it was an open world type of Monster Hunter or was it not? Like it is like what made it different from Monster Hunter whatever came before it? need to separate the map to prevail. many zones ah, thank you both for your help the speed we of the game the location of the treasure hoarders and we will move out shortly okay so full zones like uh like we talking like zones like xenoblade chronicle style zones where they could basically be their own open world area okay so big zones okay, and not small and try to escape to monster. okay we will okay, need someone I can, to guard okay. this path. I can understand that. As I said earlier, it would the look not of the be game. appropriate for yeah, the, the graphics and whatnot. Here, so I will have to rely on you two. Um, though I am not a knight of Favonius yet, may I still help in some capacity? Oh, uh, I only asked the honorary knight here to act as a witness. There are no specific restrictions over how the arrest is carried out. So please, there's no need to feel apprehensive about your involvement. If that's the case, I... Old monster hunter when you go to a map map is cut to 10 to 12 zones oh okay that explains why i saw numbers on the mini map when i was doing the one thing like there were different i guess they would have been considered zones i guess but okay okay i think i remember that from the ds one the monster hunter the ds where like going to different places would cause the cause some loading to happen okay so i think i remember that okay you load from place to place running after the same monster yes i do remember doing that on the on the uh monster hunter on the 3ds i do remember doing that okay okay but yeah monster hunter rise it's all just one big zone there okay okay and monster hunter world up with my comrades first if the treasure hoarders the PS4 and Xbox, they don't need that. So here. one full map. So I am yeah. On you too. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. I got you. I got you now. Stand guard, eh? this noel what is this noel built with all right so this noel she got 1232 945 she gave they gave her the favonius sword oh but it's a uh, different color coded oh i like this color for the favonius great sword okay what we got we got some no just a four-piece noblest all right what would you get i can't look at what you gave us for it okay whatever 
All right, the constellation three. Talent five, eight, five. Okay. All right, we're grooving. We can groove with this. I've seen a DPS Noel video. Noel can get some crazy numbers uh, with her ult. Are we good now? Okay, we good now. The game was faster than the old one with the look of the game and the good combo with the weapon made the game so good. The 3DS, for example, the copat was so, so slow. Only one medium speed and one, the rest are all so slow. So for me, that was a big factor. I can't handle super slow game. Hmm. Okay. No, it's all because of your encouragement. Otherwise, I. Oh. Thank you. We've successfully. Apparently, I've seen the memes the uh, for this Noel's uh, thing here. There's some scene where she says that her stomach feels heavy, and so they did like a cop of the picture from the first hangout where they're taking a nap under the tree. Yeah, the memes. And then now Noelle's stomach feels heavy. The memes. Oh, it was Miss Noelle who defeated the treasure hoarders. Thank you so much. Oh, you're, you're quite welcome. To be of help to you, sir, and to the Millilith, it is my great honor. You are too humble. I hear from the merchants that the Knights of Favonius of Mondstadt are both highly skilled and only too willing to rescue people in the direst of situations. With the skills and integrity you've shown, it's no wonder that the residents of Chihu Rock mistook you for a real knight. Sadly, they are quite mistaken. I am still far from becoming a real knight. <laughs> then I sincerely look forward to seeing you in action in the future, after you do become a real knight. It's getting late. I should escort these treasure hoarders back. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Aha! <laughs> Hope to meet you both again. Goodbye, Mr. Shaheen. Night. How much longer until I become worthy of this title? Oh, you're right. Wow, the time flew by so quickly. Is it really time to go back already? Apologies. I know this is a lot to ask, but... But could you spend a little longer with me? Spend a little I longer with you. That I'd like to visit. Uh-huh. Where are you trying to visit now, girl? Where are you trying to go? So what does Noel want now? Oh, I need to hit some pine trees as well. I need to be hitting trees. I need to be farming trees. I need to do that more. Cause man, building stuff for the houses in this game takes so much wood. Like you gotta just hit trees like all the time. Like no tree left behind, like for real, for real. some tea. Enjoy some of Leo's tea together. Leo's tea is certainly different from that of Mondstadt. Sure is. Both the taste and the consistency are different, but the warm and soothing sense it brings me as I drink it, that feels the same. When I read about the Knights of Favonius and the Millilith in books, their rules and philosophy seem so different. But it seems the desire to protect one's own people is the same everywhere. Hmm... And whether by Nemo or Geo. Whether Monsta or Liyue, we'll go by Nemo yes. or Geo. Deep down, people everywhere are the same. I think those both answers would have gotten the same response I don't think here. I'm so afraid of my exam anymore. I know I still have a long way to go compared to the honorary night. Listening to your stories is like reading about myths and legends. Okay. But still, 
motivates me to work harder and look forward even more to the day when it finally comes. The day that I can fight side by side with you as a knight. <sighs> Let's come back to Leo F again after my exam is over. <laughs> so in six months. Wherever a knight may go, the resolve to defend others goes with them. Okay. Interesting ending. Interesting ending. Alright, so... Let's go back to Leeway Local Weaponry. Uh, we'll see what this ending gets over here. Alright, so I guess at this point we tell the kid that she has a sword in vision. Is that what we're gonna say this time? Like, I'm pretty sure that would be the only thing different. Saying this Just time. From looking at these weapons, I can tell they have great power. I wonder how Pavonius' blade work could be applied to. Yes, and even though I'm. Hey, you over there! What are you? Huh? What's wrong? Uh, who are you calling little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. I, I'm not up to anything. Huh? You can't hide it from me. I see the way you look at those weapons. You must be planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades hmm. when the man's not looking. All right, so yeah, the only thing that's different is I say she has her own yes, weapon. That's right. In any case, my weapon of choice is the great sword, and I don't see any of those here. Yeah. Great sword, huh? Well, you got one thing right. The man refuses to show anyone his great sword in the store, no matter how many times you beg him. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you. Unless... Unless you show me your great sword and also your vision. Okay, so we still end up here. Uh, that's not true. No great sword can outshine the mighty... The cat is out of the bag. <sighs> All right, then, if you insist. Um, please be careful. You... You really... Okay, that's different. You must be a fabled knight of Pavonius. Uh, okay, here we huh? go. Huh. I must accept that the knights of Pavonius of Mondstadt, Wait, as surely what? as the hills are green and the rivers flow into the sea. Wait, I. Oh, he's gone. Children and Leo are happy. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of vision. Huh. Anyway, what's next? Okay, so maybe it's this one then. Maybe this is the go to the third round yes. knockout. Okay. If we plan to explore further, let's take a short break. First. Okay, so this must be where the path branches off now. Finally, I get one subject created. Five to go. University. Oh, nice. I'm assuming you did well in your studies, or at least for the first one, at least. to be an ordinary civilian. In which case, surely you must be an illustrious knight of Favonius. Pardon my direct. Got an A. Nice. Nice. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Hold on. I'm really sorry. I 
I am not yet an official knight, but just a maid of the Knights of Pavonius. A uh, maid of the Knights? A maid knight? Oh, now that is genuinely intriguing. Miss, if you're willing to help me out, I have every confidence that you will provide me with infinitely more source material than any other knight could. Well, as you can see, I have been a local storyteller here for a long time, and, well, my audience is starting to tire of hearing the same old stories over and over again. When I saw this young lady show up just now, I was quite awestruck by her, so much so that I was suddenly inspired by the idea of writing a new book, A Knight's Journey Through Lever. However, inspiration is just the start. I still need some material to work with. Mm -hmm. Even the most ingenious storytellers don't just come up with stories out of thin air. Mm -hmm. I do occasionally hear anecdotes about the Knights of Favonius doing the rounds here in Leeward, but they're mostly unreliable rumors, with everyone telling a different story. Far better to find an actual knight and see for myself. Okay. But I... I am still not a knight yet. Ah, don't worry about all that. As the saying goes, the story should be inspired by life, but larger than life. As the storyteller, I can change a detail or two here and add some dramatic effect there, you know. You know, I actually wonder, how do storytellers, like, stay in business? I should always lend a hand to like I'm not the type of person to watch the same movie twice. To be a real knight. <laughs> like, unless it is like extremely good, I don't watch the same movie twice. I don't read the same book twice, except for the Bible. So, like, <laughs> like, like, what? Like, how do storytellers like that stay in business? Understand me. Miss, rest assured that I will not put you in a difficult spot. All I'm asking you to do is to come with me to the countryside and show me some of your blade work. Let me see something new. I'll fill in all the other details, all within reason, of course. <laughs> well, all right. okay then. If it's just providing some initial source material. up some hilly trails as Noel, huh? Stabilize. I get the feeling I'm gonna trigger the cutscene before I get all these uh, gems here. trigger the wait where's the okay whatever you know what all right we'll just get these first Solidified. don't worry about that later <sighs> all right so now let's go try and trigger this uh, cut scene over Look at that. This looks to be the place. Oh, it seems our timing is off. The hilly churls are nowhere to be seen. Oh, if the hilly churls are not around, does that mean you can't get any source material? I don't know about not that. Not necessarily. Look at all the things they left here. Miss, why don't you use your great sword to clean the place up? Oh, so now we're just gonna Maybe. thrash stuff? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. But 
the hilly churls could return at any moment. Mr. Tian, please find a safe location from which to observe. Okay. The knight's meticulous mind attended to each and every detail of her duty with the utmost care and attention. <laughs> this is good. I can work with this very nightly. Very nightly. By the way, huh. You're taking notes already? Yes, girl. Let's go. Get to work. Snap, snap. Cleaning up a camp. I guess I do this kind of thing all the time. So it should be okay to include in your book. Wonderful. I'll call this one the Indomitable Sword of Favonius. I've never seen one. I've never actually destroyed one of these things. Actually, I don't think I, I don't recall seeing this type of thing before. Oh no! The hilly trolls are back. Mr. Tian, please be careful. I got the sweet flower though. That's what matters. Sensation. I will call that one the impregnable shield of chivalry. Impregnable mm, shield yes. of chivalry. It's coming to me now. With the prescience of a prophet, the knight foresaw the precise moment of the hilly churl's return and promptly warned the commoners to take cover. Now she stood alone as she drew her sword and strode forward to confront the enemy. Not bad. Not bad. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Uh, I might listen to that. Listen to that audiobook. These hilly churls. Hmm. It needs a little more actually, I didn't really need to uh, start so to get in like an audiobook or something like that. Mementos. Like, I'd actually get through Mementos. a lot more reading, the story or more books, I should say, the if I actually the had audiobooks to be. listen to while I'm doing stuff. Sort of so... Trophy to display before the audience will really seal the deal. Okay, um... I probably should so do that. Something like a hilly churl mask or an arrowhead? If it's all the same to you, uh, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, maybe a component from that ruin guard. Yes, you got it. You really understand where I'm coming from. I've heard that there's a very common component in ruin guards called the uh chaos device. I, I should write down my new ideas before I forget them. Um just hand the chaos device to me once you've managed to obtain it. Okay, but we already got chaos device. <laughs> I got 115 of those things. Oh, such mighty power. So battered and bruised. Mm, uh, uh, I just need to embellish it a little further and this will be perfect. Embellish it? Even further? Yeah, girl, we're going to say that you took down not only hilly churls you and field tillers. You have. took down okay. the new going with this dragon Abdala Abdaha. Right yeah. Oh, and if the two of you have any free time later, uh, stop by third round knockout and you can hear me tell my new story. Oh, I wonder how Mr. Tian's story will turn out in the end. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about it. Do you know? Why don't we go back to Leoa Harbor and listen for ourselves? Okay. Sure thing. Sure thing. For some reason, my face is itchy right now. For some reason. Like once I put my headphones on. Show me what you got. With a roar like thunder, iron clashed with iron. Then, 
four gigantic fists came pounding into the ground with a force beyond what could be put into words. So colossal was their weight, and so earth-shattering their impact. Such unthinkable power could easily cleave a stone peak right off the top of a mountain. Any ordinary human would either be torn to pieces in an instant, or at the very least, suffer indescribable injuries. But not so the knight from beyond the border. Hmm. She the knight from beyond the border. The face of the flying iron fists, but sank instead into a low, fighting stance. And with one swift sweep of her sword, the clash of metal erupted once more as dust billowed all around. Moments okay, later, okay. I like this. A deep and dull thud as the dust dispersed to reveal two pairs of iron claws lying lifeless on the ground. Such is the awesome power of the impregnable shield of chivalry, an esoteric martial technique practiced exclusively by the Knights of Mondstadt. The knight barely had time to catch her breath before a dark shadow leaped up before her into the sky, blotting out the sun and turning day into night. It was a ruin hunter. You mean a field tiller? But she was oh, wait, ruin. So you call those ruin guards, not ruin hunters. Her heart, she declared, I have nothing to fear. With an almighty battle cry, she unleashed the indomitable sword of Favonius. Beams of golden light shone out in all directions. A gust of wind raced through the battlefield. Sparks flew and debris fell. One night against two ruin guards and a ruin hunter? <laughs> Surely that must be an exaggeration. Uh, I suppose these stories are supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. <gasps> Is this about hmm. me? What is he talking about? Oh no, this won't do. I must ask him to rewrite the story. <laughs> Hard to believe? Then feast your eyes on this. This is solid proof of the Maid Knight's journey to Liyue. A fragment of a ruin god's armor cut from its carcass by a blow of her blade in the midst of her death-defying battle. That is part of a ruin guard. A friend of a friend of a relative in the middle of told me about this. A friend of a friend and the relative of the middle? It's <laughs> real, all right. Look at the cuts on it. Golden Week deal on the PS. Field. We'll see what they have. Hmm. I, I must explain to Mr. Tien. Honesty, modesty. These are the virtues cherished by the knights. Hey, would you look at that? That girl over there looks uncannily similar to the knight from the story. Ha, <laughs> these guys. Oh, I'd say more than just similar. She's the spitting image. Oh, should we get an autograph? Oh, it's definitely her. The legendary, the legendary maid knight. Maid knight. <laughs> And so, the knight went west from Stone Gate with her sword in hand and scaled the mountains of a vast new land. A legend from the moment she set foot in Liyue. Tales of the adventures of the Maid Knight would be talked about for hundreds of generations. Stay tuned for the next Stay tuned? Dude, you tell stories verbally. What do you mean, stay tuned? Invulnerable Maid Knight. <laughs> the knight went west from the stone gate with a sword in hand, scale the mountains of the vast new land. Let's from the moment she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's the uh, other endings here? How many of these we got for her? Six? Okay. All right, so those are those two. Okay, cool. All right, so I guess we got to go back to the beginning. All right, so now we're not going to Liyue, whatever we do. We ain't going to Liyue now.
wish I knew how to properly use my, uh, use those support pillows. Or maybe I should just get better ones. All right, girl, let's have a chat. So good. I don't. Oh, I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm oh, no, that it. didn't do anything. All right. I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than Baruch, the exam is drawing nearer and nearer. But they're just right. The nights, even though I've already worked for the nights, as a, it's just that I failed several times in the past. No, no, thank you. I could take care of this. is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. You're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But on the day of the exam, if, um, based on the night schedule, I think it should be... But it's just half a year. Even though there is still some time, if I don't make... I've planned my schedule carefully. If I sleep two hours less, he... Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy. No, it won't. I've made sure to allocate time for... Did I get too worked up all of a sudden? <sighs> no. I still have... <sighs> I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. Oh, but every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only study or training helps to relieve it a little. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes... Alright, so let's uh, confront the stress of the exam oh. directly. says the Adventurer's Guild. The Adventurer's Guild? You can get stronger just by passing their exam? Um, that sounds a little difficult to believe. Well, since it's recommended by the Honorary Knight, then I have to give it a try. Alright. So... Let's see what we got here. Let's go talk and get this going here. Recently 
been working on a new entrance exam for the guild. It has not yet been approved for official use. Perhaps you could give it a trial run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no such exam Indeed. when I first joined. Although the entrance exam does have something to do with you joining the guild. You can oh. ask Branchmaster Cyrus if really? require more details. He should be at Angel Share right now drafting a syllabus. He said he gets more inspired when he's there. I'm sure that's what it is. affect the boar population. Oh, it's you. And Noel, I see. Hello, Mr. Cyrus. Are you working on the exam syllabus? How is it coming along? Ah, don't get me started. Since the travelers solved the storm terror crisis and became Mondstadt's hero, a whole load of young people got excited and decided to join the Adventurers Guild. But most of them have no experience at all. They can't even handle a single slime without getting all battered and bruised in the process. So some genius in the guild decided, why don't we make an entrance exam? <sighs> <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, no? This way the adventurers won't get hurt so easily. Yes, but if the exam is too difficult, no one will want to join. A few scrapes and bruises is nothing a strong will can Say for? Why doesn't anyone else in the guild understand this? Anyway, I already rejected two drafts, and now I'm working on a third one myself. It's absolutely crucial that I get the difficulty level right. How about hunting three slimes? If only someone could give it a test run. At least then I could decide where the upper limit of difficulty should be. Then, Mr. Cyrus? May I give it a try? I am very interested in... in experiencing the Adventurer's Entrance Exam. Oh? Well, you mean... you want to take the Adventurer's Entrance Exam? But Noelle is like OP. That's like, lore-wise. Like, she's super strong. You, so... Every challenge at the highest difficulty, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Yes. Yeah, Noel is like she super strong lore wise, so Excellent. That's the spirit she of should be able to beat down whatever now, test they bring. Let me explain the rules of the exam. First, since adventurers often work in groups, you are welcome to invite others to assist you during the exam. If the traveler is willing, please join Noel. Hmm. Indeed. Second, there are three parts to the exam which are basic knowledge, survival skills, and a combat exercise. You only need to pass two out of three parts to succeed in the exam. But of course, Noelle should find she has no trouble getting a perfect score. So you can still pass even if you're no good at combat. <laughs> and finally... <laughs> and he doesn't address that. Times, ...that being an adventurer takes courage and resilience. Add Astra Abyssosk. Add... There you go, Noel. That's, That's the spirit. spirit. Without further ado, let's start part one. Basic knowledge. A true adventurer must be well versed in all sorts of relevant knowledge to handle whatever may come their way. Mm -hmm. I will ask you three questions. You may discuss among yourselves first before giving me an answer. Okay. Question one. An adventurer must be well acquainted with their environment to make sure they can obtain any resources they need. Tell me, which of the following local specialties of Mondstadt cannot be found near Wolfenthal? 
dandelion seeds, calla lilies, wind wheel asters, or small lepras. Hmm. Wolvendom. I remember reading that there are wolf hooks everywhere, but the book made no specific mention of any other plants. I want to say it's the uh, the windmill asters. Those are not around Wolvendom. Is there anything here that requires specific environmental conditions in order to grow? Conditions that Wolvendom cannot provide? Yeah, I want to say it's the windmill aster because I've seen the small lamp grass. I've seen dandelion seeds. I don't know about Kayla Lily. But I know the windwheel asters have only seen those in the windy places. That's it! The windwheel aster mostly grows in Storm Terrace Lair, at Windrise, and near Statues of the Seven. All the others are much more widely found. Mr. Cyrus, the answer is windwheel aster. Alright. <laughs> There's no fooling you two, eh? That's because I'm smart, yo. I know all the stuff. I know my lore. I read those. I do not read those books that we pick up. I don't read any of those. But I know the lore. There is a famous adventurer who once went exploring all over Leo, documenting his whole journey. Thanks to the notes he took of each location that he went, young adventurers are now able to plan ahead and avoid the dangers there. What is the name of this adventurer? Jack. Isn't it Jack? Experience. Writing diaries? It seems like adventuring requires constant self-reflection. Just like study. Isn't the guy's name Jack? Regarding this adventure, I do believe I have read about him. He even made his mark on Dragon Spine. Jack? Oh, yes. It must be him. Hmm. Oh, what was his name? Isn't it Jack? Because we got the guy pretending to be Jack. Oh, wow. Well, these are none of these names are Jack. Ha! <laughs> I don't recognize any of these names. We got Wild, Saeed, Roald, and Wyatt. I'm gonna go with Wyatt. I do not recognize any of these names. But I know for sure I've not heard of Adventurer Saeed. I've not heard of Adventurer Wild. I've not heard of Adventurer Roald. But Wyatt sounds like a Mondstadt type of name. So I'm gonna go with Wyatt. Ooh, what a pity. You were so close, but not quite close enough. Never mind, eh? Last question. Let's have some fun with this one. The most terrifying domain for adventurers from Mondstadt. The infamous Windless Land. All that awaits you there is a sea of ashes and a deadly silence in the air. So, what is the name of this taboo territory? Storm Terror's Lair? A windless land. What could it be? You know, actually, one person talked about a sea of ashes, and it's the Mare Javari. That's what it is. The Mare Javari. Oh, wait, hold up. Mare, Jav Mare Javari? Mare Javari? Oh, snap. But yeah, we haven't been to it. We've been, we've been told about it, though, but we haven't been to it. But it's the Mare Javari. I remember that. That name. And it's not Mare Javari. It's Mare Javari. We're gonna press this one. Correct. Yeah. Keep this name in mind. Someday you too will pass through this domain. Yeah, we will. Hmm. Are the questions too difficult? If even Noel wasn't up to the task. Never mind. Don't worry too much. This was just testing your rote learning ability anyway. It wouldn't be much practical help on an adventure. But hmm. be warned, things start to get a little trickier in the survival skills test. Now, go Man, and my beard is itchy. That's one thing I don't like, is that when a beard gets a certain length, it gets itchy. Ugh, no matter what I put in it, it just gets itchy at a certain length, and it's like reached that length like right now. Like right now, it's reached that length. Ah, uh, all right. All right, what am I doing now? Oh, talking to Cyrus over here. Okay. Okay, let's begin part two of the entrance exam. Cooking, right? Ready and willing. 
Finally, Mr. Cyrus. Staying well fed and making sure to prepare sufficient food supplies is a key survival skill for adventurers. That's why the second part of the exam is to prepare a food item fit for an emergency out in the wild. There are three criteria. Firstly, the ingredients must be easily accessible in the wilderness. So radishes, Second, carrots, apples, and cooking must be quick. Wild and easy. meat, raw meat. I mean. Thirdly, well, the food item in question must be able to help someone in dire straits to bounce back from the brink and regain their strength. So it has to be so a revival boy, food. Cook something full of passion and packed with flavor. Just bring it to me whenever it's ready. I await your dish with the greatest of anticipation. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Simple ingredients, easy to cook, helps you rally. Honorary knight, do you have any idea? Emergency food. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I so want to choose this answer. I so want to choose just Paimon. I really want to choose Paimon. Oh, my beard is distracting me right now. All right, I gotta stop. My beard is distracting me right now with all the itchiness. All right, so I wanna choose, I'm gonna choose Paimon. Emergency food? Though I have never tried any, it doesn't sound like a specific dish. Oh. Let's think of something else. I was thinking of Paimon. All right. So there's steak or there's Mondstadt grilled fish. I don't remember offhand what either of these meals actually do. Um, I know the grilled fish heals. I think the steak, I'll go for the steak. Pretty sure I have we can always change our minds if we have a better idea. One must be careful not to act too hastily when taking an exam. Mm -hmm. All right, Cyrus, Let's see what we got. You're ready to go. Don't be too hasty now. Wait, Nani, do I not have steak? I have steak, it's right here. Yeah, it revives a character and restores HP. What what is this? What? Wrong button. All right. Well, we'll give him. No, no. Where's my where's my steak? Why do I not have a uh, steak? Yeah, this takes fowl and mushroom, whereas this literally just takes meat. I have five of these. Okay, well, whatever. I guess I need to make some delicious ones. We even do amber. I guess amber loves steak, huh? All right, I got special steak now. What's this special steak? Whatever. Amber specialty. One side is obviously uncooked. The other side is... Wait, 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 wait. Amber specialty is where one of these is uncooked? Hold up, hold up. Amber specialty. One side is obviously uncooked. The other side gives off a subtle scent of something burnt. Close your eyes and have a big mouthful just to keep Amber happy if nothing else. Wow, they say that Amber can't cook. She can't cook steak. Amber can't cook steak. 
Wow. Not only do people not use her for anything in this game, but she's useless for cooking too. <laughs> All right. You ready to go? All right. Let's get the steak. Steak. Yeah, Majin. Yeah. <laughs> Amber Amber's own special dish is dish is. Why do people keep doing I don't know who that is. Someone like joined me yesterday, but you know what? I might I will let random strangers join my teapot. Cause because they just look around and there's nothing you can really do in there as a guest besides make my time go down faster for building stuff. So they can join my teapot. But just randomly joining my world? Why are people randomly joining my world? I don't know you. Come talk to me in chat. Then we can talk about joining my world. Simple ingredients, highly nutritious, and most importantly, all you need to cook it is an open flame. Mm. And when it's not an emergency, adding a bit of seasoning makes it even better. Succulent and juicy, crispy on the outside, and tender on the inside. The perfect accompaniment to an alcoholic beverage. Really? If you like it so much, I can always make a few more. <laughs> this is all for to get Noah to cook some drunk food for you. Ah, wow. Ah, not at all. I was merely contemplating having a celebratory libation on the well's behalf. In any case, congratulations on passing part two of the exam. Up next is the final stage. Go get yourself ready. Then meet me at Bright Crown Canyon. Okay, so we failed the knowledge part, but we're totally going to ace the uh yeah we're gonna ace the combat part yeah we're gonna ace that combat part let's go show you what we're made of show you what we got i'm not a noel dps main but i've seen them they real they out there noel is a paladin gene is a paladin and so is noel But Noelle is a much more defensive Paladin, whereas Jean is like, uh, you gonna take these hits, but uh, we'll heal you back up so you can just take more hits. <sighs> Greetings from Canada. Hey, Cryo, the, Cryo of the Dragons. Cry of the Dragons. I was just saying Cryo, but Cry of the Dragons. How you doing? Mind if I stay in the stream for a while? I'm waiting for someone to deliver my order. Uh, I mean, uh, sure. Uh, okay, sure. All right, so let's get this here. All right, let's have a chat. Ad Astra Abysosk, and welcome to the third and final part of your exam. Are you ready? Please, begin. Or as Reggie would say, my body is ready. The most important skill set for an adventurer is, of course, combat skills. Ferocious monsters, dangerous machines. Only in the heat of battle against your enemy does that surge of adrenaline really kick in. This is the last part of the exam. Defeat, Defeat the, the nearby room guard as quickly as possible. Quickly All right, we got this. We got this. I will be watching from here. I mean, the game doesn't really give us like the best Noel, but it's a good enough Noel. So we got this. Sure will. We got this, girl. Unless it's like 30 seconds. If it's 30 seconds, we don't got this. Give us uh, how much time? Oh, that Ruin Guard right there? Ah, psh, easy. Ruin Guard about to get clapped. Let's go. About to get clapped. Wake up. Wake up. Get, get yourself up. Get yourself up. 70 seconds. I got less than that because it takes you so ever to get up. I can't damage you during that part. So really, we only got a minute to whoop you. Actually, forget this mess. We got a minute. Boy, let me, let me, let me show you what we got. Let me, let me show you what we got. Yeah, I'm sorry, Noelle. I had to use the squad because, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Honorary knight, I did it. Yeah. You uh, 
you did it, Noelle. Yeah. I always get nervous and I can't control it. I know that it's just like in training, but I always end up worrying I might fail. But not this time. This time, it seems I was able to remain calm. Somehow, having you by my side. Hey, hey, Chers, so welcome back. How are you doing? It must be because you are here with me that I was able to complete the exam. Thank you. Thank you. On the day of the real exam, if, and I mean only if, great. Yes, we will be there. Just maybe. We will be there. Things will be different this time. Alright, so. Alright, Cyrus, let's, oh, whoops, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot there was uh, that drop right there. My bad. We passed two of the three. Passed yeah. The exam. Oh, you were so close to getting a perfect score. It feels like a missed opportunity. That's because I didn't know that adventurer's but name. If even the well could not get the perfect score, then maybe I still need to adjust the difficulty level a little further. Yes, the barrier to entry must be lowered to cater to the newcomers. Then we can raise the difficulty at a later stage. Only in this way can we successfully attract Is there a different ending if I get a perfect score though? I didn't know that traveler's name. Whoever that person was. What was nevertheless a sterling performance in your exam. I will have Catherine handle the admission process for you right away. Uh, Noel? Where did I go wrong? Is there any hope for me to improve? Alright, so I should have got I had to get a perfect score. Mr. Cyrus, what were you saying just now? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. Uh, I was about to ask whether you would have the time to visit the guild with me. I do apologize, Mr. Cyrus. I must get back to my exam preparation. If I don't review my mistakes, I will only repeat them the next time I run into the same problem. I didn't know the person's name. I'm sorry. I will head back to the library now and continue studying. Who's who's this traveler of Mondstadt? I thought it was the Jack guy or whatever whatever that guy's name is that's posing to be his actual partner and isn't actually the real Jack. Okay, so I get the feeling I would have had a different ending for sure if I got a perfect score, but I don't know that guy's name. I should go back to the angel share and give this some careful consideration over an alcoholic beverage. Okay, okay. Did you have bullies in your high school? Uh, I mean, every high school, or every school, middle school, high school, elementary, I'm pretty sure someone's bullying someone. But no, nah, I didn't have, bu I wasn't bullied in my high school years. My years of being bullied, my year for that was seventh grade. But yeah, but after uh, after seventh grade there, no. I didn't have bullies um, in middle school or high school after that point. All right, Noel, what's up? What about you, Charles? What what was your high school experience like? Wasn't all asleep. Oh, sorry, I zoned out a little. I didn't notice you there. Well, I've summarized my experiences from the mock exam and created a new reading list. 
a new reading Thank list you know on top of the one you already had? A one minute history of adventuring in Mondstadt. Oh, there's so much I can learn from them. Goodness, girl. There's Eddingwell in Mondstadt. I never realized there were so many ways to look in the wild. Girl. Oh, and also, self defense. The art of down to earth dialogue with monsters. Down to earth dialogue with monsters? Worth further study. The only thing is, there's so much to get through. Will I really be able to finish them all? But, but, what if this is the one time they do? Oh, we're doing what ifs now? Come on, girl. How to rescue an adventurer, or how best to collaborate with the adventurer's guild. If I neglect these topics now, I may live to regret it later. Goodness, girl. It looks like every second I have between now and my exam is going to count. Oh, they reset? Oh, the day reset, huh? What if this topic comes up on the... Yeah. Alright, so... There's that. Same, I never faced bullies in high school. Yeah, most... I mean, by the time you get to high school, most people, like, they... They don't really care. Like, it's a restart, and things are new... Unless you're, like, going off of stereotypical... Uh, high school stereotypes, where, like jocks or bullies and bully the nerdy band kids or whatever. I don't know. My school wasn't like that as far as I knew. But anywho. Alright, so we got we did that one. So we got three things done here. Fair enough. Fair enough. With that being said, let me go ahead and No, oh, I have 624. I, have, I can make uh, two wishes, huh? Alright, so just building pity there. But, uh... How about a quick break? But yeah, so I can sketch this beautiful scene. All right, so I'll continue the rest of that in the meantime. However, what I'll do here is I'll give one last glance. Can't use in the library. I will put my teapot wherever I want to put my teapot. You can't tell me no. I mean, I guess you can because you kind of did. All right, well, anyways, I'll leave it here. Well, actually, no, because when I do turn this thing back on, I'm not going to be doing the quest there. So, what I'll do here instead. stand next to the crafting thing like normal so I can go ahead and just craft my stuff no I don't want to do that I'm trying to go in my teapot oh I'll need to also get some more of those no I did not mean to uh, I mean I guess I can make one of those right now I mean that's cool too Why did I do that again? Oh my goodness. Enter the serenity. There we go. All right. <laughs> and then I pressed craft as I was going into the petite pot. All right. I'm going to take one last lovely look at my peaceful world. This is what Animal Crossing should have been like. Like, I have Animal Crossing New Horizon on the Switch. I got it because I saw people could customize their island, like, including, like, the actual formation of their island. But it's very limited, and the camera does not have free uh, free movement. If Animal Crossing had free moving camera, 
for the actual outside of the island, it would be much better in my opinion. It'd be much better because then you won't have every building facing the same direction and all that stuff. Like, nah. Like, this is what Animal Crossing New Horizon should have been like. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Then I got my little, uh, you know, got my small little village that I'm building over here. You know. Get my uh, small little village over here. You know, just a little something, something over here. And then we got my uh, lovely little uh, almost zen gardeny area, but it also has like a nice little hidden teapot stuff, uh, tea time with you know guests, friends, people. You know, to sit and relax and here, but let's let's sit and relax, let's sit and relax. Okay, so yeah. You know, just lovely, lovely nature and stuff and whatnot. And the wet, the time of day does not change on the outside here. The daytime does change inside the mansion, but not outside. Like for this floating island stuff, that the sun's always right there and whatnot. But if you go inside the uh, the house there. Uh, there is nighttime and daytime like that. But anyways, let me go over here. I don't got much right now. And then we got this area right here that I've uh, marked off for this right here. But yeah. But anyhow. Anywho, with that being said, it's it's a uh, is my ending time right here. So, thanks to everyone who has stopped by to hang out, say hello, talk about the horrible cancel culture of this world, or at least here in the states. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we all learn something new there. But anyways, if you haven't had a bite out of your daily bread for today. As you can see up there, it is Proverbs 1920 ESV, which says, as you can see down there, it says, listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. With that being said, y'all, all y'all out there, please remember to be kind and respectful to everyone, we even if they are not being respectful to you. Turning the unknown remember to the love north. God, love people, and love your life. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.